doing a story time. So I know this is like a different kind of video, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm gonna be doing a story time about my first real relationship in high school. And I'm doing this to kind of like speak to younger girls who are in high school or whatever the case may be. And if you're in high school or just in general, like don't know your worth and don't limit yourself or, you know, go under your standards for a guy ever. Don't ever do that. So, back history. This started, I started dating this guy in, I want to say, junior year. Yeah, I think it was my junior year. I was dating this guy. I was 15. I was 15. Junior year, yep. Because I turned 16 senior year. So I was 15 junior year. Sorry, I'm just moving the thing on my feet. 15 junior year. And um, I was dating this guy. He was way older than I was. Not way older. He was a senior. I was a junior. He was a senior. We started talking. The ending of my sophomore year. Anyway, so... We started dating. He first slid into my DMs on Facebook. We were talking. It was late night. We were just talking. You know, I was, you know, like, you know, we could just be friends or whatever. He was like, okay, cool, because I have a girlfriend anyways. So we just be friends. I'm like, yeah, cool, whatever. I'm always looking for guy friends because I've had guy friends my whole life. I've never had, like, a whole bunch of female friends until high school. My friends that I have now. So, like, yeah, we could talk. So, we're just, you know, after that, we've been talking all the time just as friends. So, he started, you know, we start, he started flirting with me or whatever. And I was just like, you know, you have a girlfriend. So, that's not what's going to be going down. You know? So, moving forward. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. I'm just trying to remember. Because I did record myself saying what I wanted to say but I don't I can't have headphones in my ears while I'm doing this video but anyways moving forward so a couple months after you know I guess he we're both feeling each other I'm not even gonna lie but he has a girlfriend he tells me that he broke up with his girlfriend and he wants me to be his girl he told me he broke up with her like a month ago I'm like okay all right yeah we did Sure, you know, because I was kind of feeling him, but you know, I'm not the type of person to break up a, a, a happy family or whatever the case it is. Um, so yeah, so we started dating or whatever, and everything was good in the beginning. I mean, there were little signs I seen, you know, he would be extra friendly with girls, but you know, I'm I'm thinking he's just being friendly or whatever the case may be. So everything's going good. I think this was like when we we're about to make a year. Was there anything before that? We was, we was about to make a year. And honestly, now looking back at it, that relationship wasn't really the best relationship I should have been in. It was really rocky. And um, I saw the signs and I still say, because, you know, it's my first relationship. I don't know any better. So I'm thinking, you know, this is just how relationships are. So, um, and not to say that I don't have an example of a healthy relationship because a lot of people in my family are married and have been married for years. It was just like, you know, me being dumb, young and dumb. I'm thinking, you know, this is just how my relationship is. So, yeah, we've been like, it was really rocky on and off for a while. And then here comes his um, senior trip. Senior trip comes... My two friends, I want to call them Sarah and Sarah and Paris. So I'm walking in the hallway. I think I was going to the bathroom or whatever, and I see Sarah and Paris, and they're like, yo, I just heard a group of seniors talking about stuff that went down on the senior trip, and I'm going to call my boyfriend at that time. I'm going to call him Tyrone. And... We heard some foul shit that Tyrone did. They told me or whatever. Come to find out, he slept with some girl on senior trip. And it, the story was very disgusting. But he slept with some girl on senior trip. That's the, that's basically what happened. So I'm like, 
I'm losing my mind. I'm like, yo, I don't know what to do. You know, I didn't want to talk to my mother because at the time I was a virgin and I lost my virginity to him. So I'm just like, I don't know what to do. What do I say? Like, I'm just having a panic attack because I've never had to experience anything like this before. So, of course, I asked him about it. And one thing I can say, he didn't lie about it. He was like, yeah, it did happen, X, Y, and Z, whatever the case may be. And we did, I took a little break from him. But my thing was, you know, he didn't lie about it. He admitted it. But the fact that he didn't come and tell me, I should have been like, fuck this nigga. But I did it. I was like, because he admitted it, when I approached him about it, I'll give him another chance. Gave him another chance or whatever. Things are extremely rocky from now on. From that point on, moving forward, things got extremely rocky. So then comes, I don't remember exactly what transpired, but I was sitting down. I think I was in my house, sitting down in the room, and at this time I had a Nokia phone because I had gotten in trouble because I went and pierced my belly button without asking my mom, and she found out. So she took my phone that I had and gave me a Nokia phone, not a flip phone, a straight Nokia phone where you had to press the buttons like four times to get one letter, yes. So I'm sitting there and I get a text from his supposed ex-girlfriend. She texts me, she's like, um, I don't remember exactly what she said, but the gist of the message was, I don't know if you know, but me and Tyrone are still getting up. So I'm like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? Like, is there something wrong with me? Now this, let's pause right there. Ladies, there's nothing ever wrong with you. There's no reason for a man or a guy or whatever the case is your partner to cheat on you there's no reason and it's i mean yeah some people say that their partner make them step out the relationship but your part your partner should never make you step out the relationship if you love that person you're never gonna step out of that relationship if that's the person you really want to fuck with you're never gonna do anything to hurt them if you really love them you're not gonna hurt them period anyways moving forward i'm reading the message and i just like start crying because at this point i've been through so much with this guy and i'm just like why i don't deserve this i look good as hell like this is in junior high i was not as thick as i am right now but i still had a <laughs> a little body going on so i'm like but i never for once thought like i don't know i don't know i was just like lost for words and before that, before that, there was rumors that he, that on senior trip again, he kissed some girl. I went to the girl. She told me it wasn't true. That was somebody starting shit. Um, and prior to that, I started feeling a little, you know, distance from him. Like, we weren't as loving as we were before. He wasn't like, I just felt like, all he wanted me for at that point was just, you know what. But I still stayed like a dumbass. I still stayed. I didn't say anything about it, about how I was feeling. And I just stayed. And so that girl texts me, his ex-girlfriend texts me. And basically what she told me was that, like, they never stopped messing around. They've always been together. Just that the third. So in my mind, I'm like, wait, so... A year ago, months ago, when he told me that, you know, he broke up with his girlfriend and he wants me to be his girlfriend now, he never broke up with her. He just basically was with both of us. The thing is, I didn't know about it, but clearly she knew that him and I were dating because the whole school knew that we were together. So there's no reason. And his girlfriend used to go to that school. So there's no reason that she didn't know that he had, that we were together. Because, and based on, based off of the message, she knew that we were together and that she was still, and that they were still messing with each other. I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, that's a thing? I didn't even know that was a thing. Like, honestly, my little innocent mind didn't even know that that was a thing, that you could be with somebody and still be with somebody else. I was so crushed, like, I was so crushed. 
come to find out after you know I had told him, you know, this is not something I wanna I don't want to be a part of this. Come to find out he was with her the whole time. He never broke up with her. So he was basically sleeping with us both. And I couldn't, I, like, I had some type of thought because I would only see him on certain days. You know, certain days I wouldn't see him and I wouldn't hear from him. And I'm just like, oh, maybe he's busy, you know, just being naive about everything. After we broke up, she turns out to be pregnant. Say what? Not even pregnant. She gave birth. So my thing is, your pregnant ex-girlfriend, you was with your pregnant ex-girlfriend, and you were with me. How does that even work? You know, how, what type of human being do you have to be to think like something like that is okay? And I, and this is the rule I stay by right now. Whenever I'm in a relationship or whenever I get into a relationship, I always tell my guy to be honest with me. Just tell me the truth. I don't want to hear anything that's going on in, within our relationship from someone else. Especially not the bitch you fucking. So, I approached him about it and he was just like very apologetic or whatever the case may be. And I was just like, you know what? I don't want anything to do with you. I don't want no part to you. Don't call me. Don't like... I'm done and like he honestly he really crushed me like I feel like that relationship really fucked me over and really fucked up my mental and I've been wanting to do this video for a mad long but I was like really scared because if you if you went to my high school you know exactly what I'm talking about you know exactly who I'm talking about but I don't really care anymore because he's a fucked up individual and he really fucked me over and you know how people usually say, I wish him nothing but the best? No, I don't. I don't. Because the story doesn't end there. Boom. So, after we broke up, months and months went by. You know, I'm not, I'm talking to guys here and there. I'm not really dealing with anybody seriously. I get a text from him. And I had saved him in my phone as this guy. Don't answer. I answered the phone. He starts talking. He was like, I just need somebody to talk to. I'm like, okay. Me being the good person that I am because everybody needs somebody to talk to. But of course, I never have anybody to talk to. Anyways, let's move on. He's like, oh, he needs somebody to talk to. You know, he's really stressed, whatever the case may be. I'm like, all right, all right. Mind you, this is booty call hours. My dumb ass still ain't Mind you, this is, I'm like, at this point, I'm like 17, I think. 16, 17, yeah, 17, because he was at my 16th birthday party, and this was after that. So, yeah, I'm like 17, 18. Just this month after, I think a year or two after we done broke up, he calls me. He's like, oh, he needs somebody to talk to, all this other stuff. So we're talking, whatever. He starts crying on the phone about how stressed he is with this girl. He doesn't even want to be with her. His friends told him that she trapped him with this baby, this, that, the third. Now they're engaged because their families are forcing them to get married. He went as far as to tell me that his girlfriend at the time, fiance, whatever the case, and his baby were in Guyana. And he wished that the plane that they were on coming back crashed. He went as far to say that to me on the phone. I'm like, I don't think you should say that because that shit could happen to you. He was like, you know, I'm so stressed. Like I even tried to kill myself the other day. He was on the train and his people have confirmed this for me. He was on the train track waiting for the train to come. And the train was coming and he tried to walk in front of the train and somebody grabbed him. And in my head, I'm like feeling sorry for him. But now that I'm thinking about it, that's what the fuck you get. Because nobody told you to come and get with this baddie like me, a good girl at that time, an innocent girl at that time who just was so in love with you because you looked good and you treated her okay. Not the best, but you treated her okay. So now looking back, I'm like, that's what you get. That's what you get and that's good for you. He then hits me with, I really want to be with you. I miss you. Like, I want to be able to be with you and still be with this girl, basically. Still hang out. 
And I was just like, I don't know about that because that's not the type of person I am. I'm not the type of person to, um, you know, condone cheating or even be a part or associated with somebody who's cheating on their girlfriend or whatever the case may be. But we did meet up and we did hang out and we did sleep together. And I felt so like that night when I went home, I felt so bad. Like I felt so terrible, like so, so terrible. And I called him and I was like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. Like I can't have no affiliation with you because you're making me like you're turning me into something that somebody that I'm not somebody who or you're making me like consider and do things that are so against my values and I know I'm way I'm worth way more than this and I just can't do this anymore and I just told him I'm like I'm not gonna accept being your side chick or you know like I'm not gonna accept that and he was just like you know I understand I I respect it and I haven't spoken to him since then honestly like I'm still cool with some of his friends but him I haven't spoken to him since my cousins have seen him around like I've seen him on social media him and the girl are still together they have another baby together now I believe and I'm just like now looking back I'm just like I feel like I just, I let that guy really like ruin me. And I'm not, you know, I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me or anything, but you know, you live and you learn. You go through life and you live and you learn, but that relationship was the most toxic relationship I've ever been in. And I really let that guy ruin me. He, I feel like that's when little Ciara, or a little innocency I was really exposed to like the really toxic part of a relationship or the the worst the worst aspect of a relationship and that was my first relationship my first relationship my first real relationship because I was dating somebody before him I feel like I really let him like I really let him ruin me and I don't want to say ruin to like I'm not damaged goods or whatever like but I feel like I'll say I really let him ruin my perspective on relationships and on the other sex when you're in a relationship so I feel like a lot of my a lot of my trust issues stem from that relationship and it's crazy because one of the the first thing I noticed the first time I noticed something was wrong I went to his house I was always with I was always by his house his mother was I want to say she really loved me but we would talk when I went there I mean I went I went shopping with her before but his I was by his house and his uncle came over and I've never seen his uncle before and he introduced me to his uncle as his friend and it really bothered me it really fucked me it was like a the fuck like it really fucked my head up but I never said anything to him about it I never said anything to him about it and a lot of the stuff I do now is because of that relationship and a lot of stuff I required that's why I don't settle when it comes to the things I want out of my partner like if I want you to do XYZ I feel like you should and vice versa and that relationship really like really screwed me over like I don't even know. Like after that, I was really destroyed mentally. I'm not even gonna lie. I was 
She went downhill after that. I'm not even gonna lie. It really did. And it was just like so much stuff. He was really friendly with girls in school, like super friendly. Like he was also a sex addict. Yeah. Like yeah. it was so bad at times. Like we would go out. We would go out like half plans to go out we'll, we would go out and then he'd be like nah I just wanna go back home and fuck you and I'll just be like okay you know like mad young and dumb and that's why like a lot of stuff that I say or do now in my relationship is like in a way so in a way of like trying just to protect me and protect my interests and protect my mental and my emotions and that's why i always have my guard up like since then i've i always have my guard up with every and anybody not even just my partner i just always have my guard up all the time yeah um this is just a message to young girls in high school, like, don't worry about guys in high school. Like, high school is the time for you to make friends when you really start to explore yourself and explore the world. And you don't want to be tied down in a relationship in high school, especially. And if you do want to date somebody in high school, that's all well and fine. But don't take them seriously. Like, just don't. Don't take them seriously or don't, like put so much into that person or yeah like it's not beneficial because I feel like I wasted a lot of my junior year with this guy when I could have been one of my friends doing cool stuff you know so and I feel like being with him and him being like wanting to have sex so much that really kind of shaped how I see sexual relationships and stuff. It changed how I saw it after that because after that, if I was talking to somebody and like I felt like I wanted to sleep with them, I would just come out and tell them like, but I, you know, it's not really good. It's, it's very toxic to be like that. And I don't know. I just felt like I needed to share this story for me to get some type of closure and for girls in high school and junior year, and, you know, who get wrapped up in, in dating and being with someone and losing their virginity. And honestly, my virginity to me wasn't really, you know how some people think, Losing their virginity is like, or being a virgin is such like a big thing. It's a lot to me. It never was. And that's why I didn't really like, you know. But looking back, when people, when I'm around my friends or whoever, and we're talking about like our first time or whatever, I don't ever tell the story because I didn't like the person I was with and I didn't like the experience. But in my life, my motto is to never regret anything because in that moment, that's what I wanted. So in that moment, I was content. But yeah, I was really fucked over in a relationship. And he was really close with one of my teachers. So she knew what was going on. Like when I would come in class and be upset, like when we broke up and I came to class, she already knew what was wrong with me. And it just... It was too much going on. I was going through too much during high school, and I felt like I couldn't talk to anybody, like any other adults in my family, because the main thing, I didn't want them to know that I wasn't a virgin anymore, because I knew that was going to be a very big thing in my family, and everybody was going to know, because my family is a big-ass family, and once you tell one person, everybody else finds out. So, yeah. And with that being said... 
if any of my family members are watching this, there you go. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I just wanted to... I just wanted to come and come on here and just share my story because I don't think any young girl should go through what I went through with this dude in high school and if you are you're not alone I mean every every girl not every girl but some girls who are in high school and who are dating in high school go through these things you know the older guy they want to be with the older younger the hotter the popular guy and you get with him and it's not it's not anything you expect it to be and that's how it was with me my relationship was nothing I expected it to be nothing at all nothing at all nothing and if I see him now I wouldn't even say hi I probably would spit on him in the street if I see him and my thing was with the ex-girlfriend or whatever the case may be clearly she knew and she's you know she was okay with that but my thing is as women or as girls at that time I feel like we should always want to support each other and be there for each other and I feel like her she was like kind of like condoning it so if I see her in the street, I would spit on her too. What's up? What's good? Nah, but for real. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share this story of how like I feel like he made me the side chick. But I didn't know. I didn't know about it. I didn't know anything. I I had no idea whatsoever, like none, like none. And if y'all, when um, actually when Janae Aiko came out with the song Triggered, I feel like that explains exactly what happened to me. Like he knew what I wanted my future to be like, and he just like ruined me or tried to ruin me tried to destroy me so bad like when I found out when I found out that she gave birth to a baby I was just destroyed I was broken like because it's like you were with somebody and you you know you know you're faithful to them and you Expect them to be faithful to you and to have your best interest at heart and to think of you and think of protecting you in your heart and then you find out that that wasn't the case at all. That's that really like fucks with you and like really makes you really makes you think differently about that person or about anybody of that nature you know what I'm saying and come to find out the crazy thing is I was friends I was friends with his friend one of his friends before we started dating and I felt like I feel I just feel like people I just feel like the people who knew could have told me and they decided not to they just I feel like everybody who knew just wanted to see me broken and destroyed and all that and I I really I don't know but that relationship really messed me up it really did it ruined me and well I wouldn't say it ruined me but it ruined my perspective on men and relationships honestly and from then i've always said that i don't want to get married because it's just dating with a certificate or with a paper that's saying that you're like legally obligated to this person and i think that's why i constructed that idea of me not wanting to get married is because of him and 
you know, I'm just sharing this story to just tell my story, one of my stories of who I am and certain things that make me or made me who I am right now. And also to talk to the young girls, like, don't, don't let no guy make you an option. You're not an option. You should never be okay with being an option. And that's the message that I want to get out to you guys. You're not alone. You're not dumb. You're not stupid. You're just, you were just, you didn't know. If you were blinded, you weren't aware. So don't, you know, don't be too hard on yourself, I want to say. And you will get through it. It's hard. That breakup was, I, it took me a while to get over him. I'm not even going to lie. It took me a while to get over him. It really did. And I'm not going to lie. It helps to meet somebody else, not to date, but like to start talking to someone else just to get your mind off of that person. Just to like a, kind of like a, someone who's going to aid you in your healing process. Because it definitely is. It's okay to talk to talk to someone else to try and get your mind off of the person or the fucked up or the fuck boy, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's just the basis of the story. I'm trying to make sure I say everything. Yeah, I think. And my thing is when he messaged me that first time at night on Facebook, he already knew what what it was. He already knew what he wanted to do. He never wanted to be friends. He always wanted to just fuck me and still be with the girl he was with. And I, feel, and I mean, he proved me right. And that's the... That's the... Um, conclusion I've come to based on how everything played out. Like That was always his plan to just be with us both. And yeah. And you know, I know people say they, they always say, Oh, I wish them nothing but the best. No. I don't I don't have anything to say because I don't want to say anything negative because you know, I don't want to be I don't want anything bad to happen to me because I'm wishing somebody bad. So I'm just not gonna say anything. But yeah. So that was my entry into relationships real relationships because i like i said i dated somebody before that but that wasn't really a real relationship but yeah and the crazy thing is he never bought me anything never like ever never bought me anything never Never helped me pay for anything, and I used to help him pay for like some subscriptions that he had. Never helped me pay for anything, he never bought me anything. He never told me I was beautiful. I love being called beautiful, I hate being called sexy. I hate it. He never called me beautiful, he never complimented me. And all, the, all of those things are things that you should want out of your partner. You should want your partner to tell you that you look beautiful. You, could, you should want your partner to tell you or to uplift you. That was never the case. Ever. That was never the case. And it really screwed me over. And I'm so mad at myself that I even allowed him to get that close to me. To even allow his energy into time with mine. But you live and you learn. And yeah. But ladies, don't ever let yourself be an option. Don't ever. If you see the signs, pay attention to it. Let me tell you, even now, if you see the signs, pay attention. Pay attention because I see signs all the time. And I always be right. Listen to your intuition, cause she ain't gonna stay wrong. My intuition has always been right. Always been right. Always. 
So, you don't gotta take my advice, but it's okay to be young and dumb. Don't feel bad. Don't be hard on yourself. Because ain't shit. So guys, this was my little story time, letting you guys in a little bit, getting to know a little bit more about me and things I've been through and all that other stuff. You know, my, my life isn't like, I mean, I don't have so many crazy stories to tell, but the stories that I do have, I will share with you guys. And that was just my story about how this dude made me the side chick and I had no clue. I had no clue what was going on. None. So yeah. Hope you guys have a great day. Hope you guys have a great new year. I hope you're achieving all your New Year's resolutions and you're working on them and you're doing the damn thing. But yep, that's it. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I know somebody, I know for a fact somebody's going to have something to say about this video or somebody who knows about this story is going to have, or who's a part of the story is going to have something to say to me. I don't care. I don't care. But, um, and the girl he cheated on me with on a trip is... I don't like to say negative stuff, but Anyways, I hope you guys like this video.